Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I want to help demystify the idea of HTTPS encryption on your website, what it means to install an SSL, of course, and what's going to happen in July. Uh, we've all been getting emails from Google, from the developer team at Google, and telling us that we have just a little bit of time left to get our website uh, migrated over to HTTPS. And so I want to take a look at that with you now. Um, the Google Chromium blog and the Google Security blog have both been posting updates about the changes that are going to happen to Google Chrome um, in the form of an update. So that update is going to hit everyone's devices and computers in the beginning of July. They're reluctant to give us a, an actual date that they're going to release it, <clears throat> but I have a feeling it's going to be sometime right around July 11th. So your phone, your computer, um, you're, you're going to be asked to update Google Chrome, that your Google Chrome version is, is outdated and it's time to update it. When that happens, some new things are going to take effect. Um, slowly, Google has been marking sites that are not secure um, as not secure. So you may have in the last year, you may have been running a website on HTTP and noticed that you started getting this pop-up that said that the website was not secure or that it would be over here in this little this little spot right here which say not secure so you may have noticed in the last year that you're getting a lot less conversions or less traffic that your site's deranking that search engine optimization is starting to fail or deteriorate so when the new version of Google Chrome comes out in July any website that is not secure so instead of just a large group of them any website that is not secure will be labeled as such by Google. And I want to show you some examples of what that looks like because I can show you that now. Um, right here, I'm going to show you three examples of websites. Realestate.com, real-estate.com, not secure. And here you can see Google is giving you this warning. This page is not secure. A non-secure page loaded in cognito mode. So uh, here's another example. Um, zerowebappsecurity.com. So this is actually a website that web developers like me use to test vulnerabilities and their website's not secure on purpose but I just want to see what it says. It says not secure right there and if I was on my mobile device I would be getting a warning not to submit information or passwords on this website. And then here's another one. This is just a membership page for Club Managers Association of America and you can see not secure and here's a user, here's a form right here, username and password, but it says right here, private user data input. Um, uh, a warning has been added to the URL bar, and um, this page was loaded non-securely in an incognito window. So you're going to get a lot of warnings that tell you not to put your information on the site. Contra contrast that, compare that to a website that is secure. It has a security bar right here, a certificate that's valid and trusted, a secure and strong connection, and um, securely served resources. So all of these resources are also secure, in other words. And you can see them all, HTTPS, HTTPS, HTTPS. So this is the DOSWOW website. Here's the MyWebBro website, it's also secure. Valid and trusted, secure and strong. And I'll just show you another uh, e-commerce client called Bodhi Leaf Coffee, and you can see here that their entire website, their entire e-commerce build is secure. Right here, we can see that it's a secure website, okay? Cool. So that being said, I want to show you exactly, um, it's a tool that Google offers developers that enables us to go in and pinpoint the parts of your website that are not secure. And I want to just very, very quickly glaze over that with you right here. And it's uh, called uh, Google Web Developer Tools and it's called Lighthouse. So in Lighthouse, you'll have the opportunity to do an audit of your website. And when you audit your website, it will tell you what parts of the website, whether it be the images or a certain form, maybe there's a link that's redirecting visitors away to an insecure website or to an insecure web page, and it will tell you all that so that you can fix it, so that you can finally get your green lock on the top left. And it's not an easy job. Uh, let me rephrase that. It is not a difficult job, but it is not a quick job. It's, this could be something that's a little bit time consuming. The bigger your website is, the more things your website does, the harder it is for your developer to tighten it up and install an SSL. So right here we can see Web Fundamentals. Google has this article that discusses why HTTPS matters. 
And I do recommend that if you run a website, you that you understand this concept fully, okay? And then right here, we're gonna just see some of the depreciations and removals in Chrome 67. So in July, when Chrome 67 does hit our devices and we finally make the update, um, these are the things that are gonna change. Depreciation of HTTP-based public key pinning, um, app cache on non-secure contexts, some layout changes, Okay, some CSS properties that are going to be removed. And, and what that does is that takes the form of an actual visible change to us as a Google user. So it's, it's interesting. I can, I can see here being a web developer what they mean, but I, I couldn't tell you exactly where those things are going to land. But it's going to be interesting to see. And I think some of that has to do with the idea that they're going to release a new images search bar on the Google search platform. So that's going to change the way that things look just a little bit and then a new depreciation policy. So um, that has to do with your Google APIs. Um, and you might have seen recently an email from Google that says that you have to uh, work on things in regards to your Maps API. And for most customers, that shouldn't be an issue. But for some clients, you're using that API. Um, it's getting so much traffic. You're using it so often that you might need to add a credit card to the account so that Google can bill you as much as a few cents a hit, but that they need to bill you for those resources. So, and that's all moving towards this idea that Google eventually wants to be a fully monetized platform. Uh, the things that we've taken for granted for over a decade are, 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 uh, gives us the opportunity to expose our businesses and products on a level that's, that, that was before unimaginable. So, you know, it makes perfect sense that Google's looking for every little way that they can to start monetizing these services and make, make money off of the development of these applications. So, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, I talk a lot about website security, so this is not new to you. If you've been in a room with me for more than five minutes, I've probably discussed this with you. But it's always fun to, just, to talk about it and demystify this stuff for, for business owners or a website, um, for a small website, uh, people who run small websites. So. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook. I'm my web bro, and my and my internet marketing company is called Daswow at daswow.com. D a s w o w com. You can email me matt at daswow.com or find me on LinkedIn. I'm Matt Pennington. Thanks. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.